Welcome to Online Study for You. In this video, we are going to look at the solutions for the TCS NQT examinations that were held on the 3rd of August for the slot 3. So, this video will only concentrate upon the coding questions that were given in the examinations and I am going to walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure of how to plan in order to get a solution for the given question and what are the strategies in order to come up with a solution and as well as the constraint that are need to be considered and I am going to code up the solution live in this video itself. Let us get started. The question is as follows given a maximum of four digits to the base 17 that is 10 will be represented as a and 11 will be represented as b and so on and 16 will be represented as g in your uh, hexadecimal number system that is exactly the same as this but in your hexadecimal number system the base will be 16 and the alphabets that will be considered is only from a to f so here the number 17 uh, is the base so you will also have to consider the alphabet G okay so this number is given as input and the output should be the decimal value of this the input that is given is in the base 17 and we have to convert it to the base 10 so you have to write a program that is going to do this uh, let us look at the example that is given here so the given input is 1a and the output is 27 how does this happen the a stands for 10 and it is in the decimal uh, in the units place hence it is multiplied by 1 and this 1 is in the tens place and that is why it is multiplied by 17 1 into 17 so 17 plus 10 gives you 27 that is the output uh, in the same way 23GF is also in uh, the hexadecimal base and its output is 10980 or I think it is 10979 I'm not sure so let us write a program for it and then confirm what is the output uh, the ex uh, let us go to the explanation on how to come up with a solution uh, before coming up with a solution you have to plan and have a good strategy on how do you devise the algorithm to do this the uh, main you know, thing that you have to consider here is that the constraint that are given the constraint that are given is the number will be of four digit okay so you have to uh, only consider this constraint because the four digit number itself can give you a large decimal value and also uh, the base of the given number is 17 that is already known okay so the base of the given number is 17 then uh, how do you uh, come up with the solution uh, simple and easy so let us say that 1a is the given input as per the example what you do is you uh, go uh, one element by element and let us take this as a string so let us assume that this is a string so this is a string that is stored so we are going to take each element and we are going to inspect its place so a is in the units place okay so a is in the units place and that is why what we are going to do is we are going to multiply the value of a is actually 10 and we are going to multiply it with 1 next we are going to read 1 so 1 is in the units place so uh, tens place sorry so it is multiplied by 17 okay so if it is 2 it is multiplied by with 2 into 17 if it is say 9 it will be multiplied as 9 into 17 so this answer that we are going to get here and this answer that we are going to get here is all added and we are going to get the total sum that is the output for this given question how do you devise a program in order to uh, solve this the first thing you can do is you can uh, declare a character called str a string okay and you have to read this string from the input from the user's keyboard then what can you do is you can declare a say variable called a decimal 
let us call it decimal and this decimal will finally have the decimal equivalent of this string that is given here then uh, what you can do is you can take a string called length that will have the length of this string str uh, you will have a temporary variable called maybe a value which will correspond to the value of each of the uh, characters that are in that string str okay so if the str string has 2 3 gf uh, we are going to loop over this string and at each, at each iteration this value will have the decimal equivalent of each of the string here say in the first loop it will have the decimal equivalent of uh, 2 okay so if it is 2 3 gf the two uh, play decimal equivalent is 2 into so tens hundreds and thousands so it will multiply with this thousands place and that value will be stored in this variable so then you have to uh, calculate the, so how do you calculate the value is that this value will be equal to the current value that is in the string and uh, what we have to do is we have to go for a condition so if the if the value of str of i is a number so if it is any number from 0 to 9 we have to uh, mine uh, subtract this with 48 why are we going to subtract this with 48 let us say uh, we have read 5 so what str of i will have is the ASCII value of 5 so the ASCII value of 5 let me show you here is 53 so the value of 0 starts from 48 and that is why we are going to subtract this 53 with 48 so 53 was minus 48 we are going to get 5 so we are extracting the decimal value from the ASCII value of that so if it is a string so if it is any alphabet from a to g we have to subtract this with 97 and we, we have to add it with 10 so what happens whenever you subtract it with 97 is that the resulting value is converted to the base 10 but we have to neutralize it with uh, uh, the base 17 by adding 10 what do i mean by that is let us say i have a red b so the ASCII value of small b is 98 so what i'll get is 98 minus 97 if i don't add is 10 so i'm going to get 1 okay the value of b is not actually 1 but it is 11 so how do i make it 11 i add 10 to it and i make it 11 so every time you are going uh, subtracting the value uh, with the ask uh, 97 the subtracting ask value from 97 you are going to get a number that is a decimal equivalent and uh, by adding it with 10 you are going to get the its value in the base 17 okay so that is what we are going to get and at the end of every loop you are going to have your decimal this variable the decimal variable and you are going to add the value to the decimal variable and after the end of the loop you are going to have the whole decimal equivalent of the number stored in this variable decimal that is t as written here so don't worry about the implementation part let us now go to code blocks and try to program this uh, in the c programming language so uh, follow along let us say hash include stdio.h uh, i am going to be using a power so that is why i am going to include math.h why am i using power uh, you'll get to know soon i'm also using strings so that is why i will include string.h i have my int main and then i'm going to return zero so the beginning of the program we are declaring a character str which will have maximum length of five because our number will have only four digits so the string that is to the base 
17 number will have maximum of four digits so the file length is because it needs to have the null character at the end then we are going to take scan is spelling is wrong we are going to take the number as input from the user that is str we will declare a long long int variable called decimal that is initialized with zero this decimal will have the decimal equivalent of this string str at the end of the program then we are going to declare two integer variables called uh, value and place so what uh, these two variables hold is that the value will hold as i said the value of each character of this string str at the perspective time of the loop and the place is its decimal value or its respective place in the number system okay we will look at it now okay uh, i will also okay here yeah, my place will have the length of my string and i'm going to decrement the string i am going to decrement the place so what is happening here is that let us say uh, my input now i'm going to write this in a different color so my input here is let us say 379 so whenever i give 379 as an input an additional null character slash zero is added at the end so the length of this becomes now four and that is what is stored in the variable p i don't want my p to also count the extra null variable at the end and that is the reason why i'm going to decrease decrease it with one here so after this uh my uh, next thing that i'm going to do is go directly going to the looping part of this int i is equal to 0 my condition here would be that the string the content of the string should not be equal to a null character okay so i'm going to increase the value of i and also i am going to decrease the value of place so why do i decrease the value of place is because every time we move from uh, uh let us visualize it here so 379 again initially the value of place will be 3 as we move from left to right of the number the value of the place decreases so this va this is the the value of this place is 3 the value of this place is 2 the value of this place is 1 so this 2 is nothing but the tens place okay that is the reason why we are decrementing the value of place inside the loop we are going to compare so if str of i is greater than or equal to zero that is its content is lying within the numbers the ASCII value of the numbers and less than or equal to nine we are going to say the value is equal to str of i minus 48 else if the value is str of i is greater than or equal to a and str of i is lesser than or equal to g my value will be str of i minus 97 and i'm going to add 10 as i said earlier okay then at the end of this loop i have to compute the value of decimal as decimal is equal to decimal plus value into the power respective power so that is the place power 17 after the for loop what i am going to do is i am going to print my number decimal so that is the whole program okay so there is one error in this program so that is uh, I'll, i'm going to explain that error after running the program so uh, let us run the program uh, there are no errors so the input will be 1a and the output is 83 uh, there is an error here uh, in order to correct the error we also have 
to look at uh, why we are going to we are getting this error it is because we are neglecting the you know capital letters so what you can do here is you can add an if condition and you can say that if str of i is greater than or equal to capital a and str of i is less than or equal to capital g you can say value is equal to str of i minus look at the value of the capital a in the ASCII value so its value is 65 that is why uh, minus 65 and plus 10 that is that will store the uh, uh, respective value here now if we run this we are going to get uh, the correct output for the given program but we are still getting an error so that, so that is why you have to do something called as a rubber duck debug so what is a rubber duck debug is that you are going to go through your program line by line and then you are going to uh, analyze what, what may be the possible cause for error because of some mis uh, interpretation of your program so uh, let us go to the first line and the beginning of the program i have declared a care str and then i am taking scanf percentage d str so since it is a string it should have been percentage s and that is the whole reason why we were not getting the output uh, the, even if we added this condition so this condition is added in order to compensate for the capital and as well as the small letter that will be given oh now if we run the program this will give us the perfect output that is 1a is 27 we can also take up the example that is given here so 23gf should give you 109 actually it should give you 79 so 23gf 23gf uh, should give you 10979 uh, so the number written here is actually wrong so that is the uh, total output and uh, the strategy and the program in order to solve the given question uh, if you have any doubts please do comment it in the comment section and uh, please share it to all of your friends who are preparing for any such examinations or interviews uh, thank you for watching this video